the porcelain pact, a tale of cursed dolls and haunting melodies. In the quaint town of Ravensbrook, nestled between rolling hills and ancient woods, lived the Harrison family. The Harrisons were known for their ancestral estate, a grand Victorian mansion that had weathered the passage of centuries. However, hidden within the walls of the mansion was a dark secret, a secret that would unravel the tranquility of the town. The story began with a mysterious package that arrived on the doorstep of the Harrison mansion one gloomy evening. The package, wrapped in faded brown paper and bound with twine, bore no return address. A cold wind whispered through the trees as the family gathered in the dimly lit living room to unwrap the enigmatic parcel. As the twine unraveled and the paper fell away, revealing an ornate wooden box, a collective gasp filled the room. Inside the box lay a doll, its porcelain face frozen in an expression that seemed to blend innocence with a haunting sadness. Its eyes, painted a deep shade of blue, bore a weight that transcended the lifeless gaze of typical dolls. Mrs. Harrison, a woman of practicality, dismissed the doll as an eccentric gift from a distant relative. However, her daughter, Lily, felt an inexplicable connection to the doll. It was as if the eyes of the porcelain figure held a secret language that only she could understand. As night fell over Ravensbrook, strange occurrences began to unfold. The wind outside howled in an unnatural cadence, rattling the window panes. The flickering candlelight cast dancing shadows across the walls, and the air seemed charged with an otherworldly energy. Lily, unable to resist the allure of the mysterious doll, found herself drawn to it. The doll, which she named Elara, seemed to emanate a melancholic aura that tugged at Lily's emotions. Elara's eyes, once lifeless, now seemed to follow Lily's every move. The nights grew longer, and a sense of unease settled over the Harrison mansion. Whispers echoed through the hallways, and the temperature plummeted even on the warmest of evenings. Lily, unable to shake the feeling that Alara held a dark secret, began to experience vivid nightmares. In her dreams, Alara spoke to Lily in a voice that seemed to come from the depths of despair. The doll recounted tales of a cursed lineage, a family bound by a tragic pact made centuries ago. Lily awoke each morning drenched in cold sweat, haunted by the haunting lullabies Alara whispered in her dreams. As the days passed, the once vibrant Lily grew paler and more fragile. Her eyes, once filled with youthful exuberance, now mirrored the haunting gaze of Alara. The family, oblivious to the supernatural undercurrents at play, attributed Lily's decline to stress and overactive imagination. One stormy night, as thunder rumbled in the distance and rain lashed against the windows, the doll's influence manifested in terrifying ways. The once inanimate Alara moved from room to room, its porcelain footsteps echoing through the silent mansion. Lily, now a mere shell of her former self, followed Alara with a vacant expression. The family awoke to the sound of a haunting lullaby, a melody that seemed to beckon them toward the heart of the mansion. As they approached Lily's room, they discovered a scene that would forever etch itself into their memories. Elara, perched on a dusty antique chair, cradled Lily in its porcelain arms. Lily's eyes were now the same deep shade of blue as Elara's, and a spectral glow emanated from both figures. The room felt charged with an otherworldly energy as the family stood frozen in horror. A voice, not belonging to Lily or any member of the Harrison family, resonated through the room. 
it was the voice of Alara, weaving a tale of ancient curses and the price paid by generations past. The doll spoke of a bond forged in darkness, a bond that could only be broken by sacrificing the soul of the one most closely connected to it. In a moment of profound horror, Alara's eyes locked onto Lily's, and the room was consumed by an otherworldly light. The family, paralyzed by fear, could only watch as Lily and Alara became one, their forms merging into a twisted amalgamation of porcelain and flesh. The storm outside reached its crescendo, mirroring the tempest within the haunted mansion. When the family regained their senses, they found themselves alone in the now silent room. Elara, the cursed doll, was nowhere to be found, and Lily's presence had become a haunting memory. The Harrison Mansion, once a beacon of familial warmth, now stood as a testament to the supernatural forces that could unravel the fabric of reality. The town of Ravensbrook, forever changed by the events that transpired within those walls, whispered tales of the cursed doll and the family whose lives had been irrevocably entwined with the supernatural. To this day, visitors to Ravensbrook claim to hear the faint strains of a haunting lullaby on stormy nights, a melody that echoes through the halls of the once grand Harrison Mansion, where the ghostly presence of Alara, the cursed doll, is said to linger, forever bound by the tragic pact made centuries ago. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.